So just stand back at the top of the mat again with your arms to the sides. And then as you exhale, just close your eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Last breath here. And then exhale. Let's finish up with the last five poses. So we're going to start star pose. We're going to step the right, your right foot to the back of the mat. So I'm going to start here too. Right foot to the back of the mat with each flag. Exhale. Good. And then you're going to take your arms parallel to the floor, kind of like a star shape. Now you're going to reach forward with your right, your left arm, sorry. So left arm to the front. Reach your left hand down to the floor. So keep your leg extended. Legs are straight. Good. You can just reach towards the shin or the knee. Doesn't have to be too far. And then open your chest towards the registration table here. So look towards the exit doors to your right side. Or maybe if your neck is upward, you can gaze up. So aside from physically looking like a star, it feels a lot, it feels very spacious very calm, hopeful, outward looking as well. And uh, it just doesn't rile you up. It's a good break after all of that tower moment. And as you exhale, gaze down, and then slowly come back up. Step your right foot forward, and then switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Reach forward with your left arm, or your right arm, sorry. Right hand on the shin or on the foot, left arm up over the head. So explore the energetic sensation of this pose. So of course, start from the physical, but the physical allows for that energetic experience. Last breath here. And as you inhale, slowly come back up. And exhale, please. Step the left foot of the mat. And exhale. Good. Next one is uh, the moon pose. So the moon pose, uh, we're going to step your left foot. Sorry, your right foot. So we're going to face the way. Step your right foot towards the back of your mat. Those who uh, point out to the sides. Then you're going to bend your, sorry, a bit narrower. Bend your knees. Arms out to the side. Like a T, you're going to bend your elbows. Then you're going to lift your heels up. Very good. Very good. So this is the moon pose. Very good. You're like a moon. Incidentally, today is a full moon. So imagine this, like a full moon opening up. Last breath here. And as you exhale, heels down to the floor. Hands to the waist, and then step the left foot forward again. Exhale. Ah, sorry, the right foot forward. Let's all meet in the middle of the man and stand here. The sun pose. So, ah, no, it's it's equal to mine. It's even, so it's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna um, next pose is the sun pose. So we're gonna take your um, right foot, lift it up towards the back, catch it with your right hand. Exhale. Here. Left arm up over the head. Like reaching for the sun with your left hand. As you exhale, you can take your chest more forward. Or take your solar plexus more forward as well. Suppose there are many symbolisms of the sun in this shape. There's a lot of opening up as well. Last breath here. And as you inhale, slowly come back up to Center standing and exhale. Let's do so the same thing on the other side. So lift your left up. Catch your left foot with your left hand, right arm up over there. As you exhale, take your chest forward. So your solar plexus, your uh, ego center moves forward and also downward. So it, there's a grounding sensation. Right arm reaches up for um, the energy of the sun. As you inhale, slowly come back up to standing, and exhale, release. Good. Head of the feet, just to release any tension. We're going to close with the last two poses. They're fun. We're just going to sit down. <laughs> Finally. 
So we're gonna we're gonna cut into like I don't mind if you take your feet wider. The 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 point is to just really sit up. This is judgment pose. Sit up like a judge. So the thing about judgment is that you always have to be attentive, but really can't do. You shouldn't do a lot. You have to observe it. You have to be present at the same time. There has to be this effort to be present and mindful without over exerting, over emphasizing your presence or over imposing your presence in this pose. So allow this pose to embody that mindful observation, the mindful, the mindful judgment that the is trying to symbolize. Last breath here, and as you exhale, please. The last pose is my favorite. You're just gonna lie down for the world. I mean, the world means so many different things for us. I can give you another pose for the world, but my favorite expression of the world is to just lie down and experience everything. So we're gonna lie down, and then you're just gonna close your eyes here, arms to the sides. Oh, it's basically your full pose, but just lying down on the mat with your palms open to the ceiling. And just being open to everything in this orientation. So allow the body to just ground down through your backside. Observe everything that is going on around you. Observe the world. And observe your inner world as well. So allow this pose to be expansive in terms of your idea of what encompasses what's within and what's outside. Maybe there's a merging, maybe there's a blurring of the lines of what is inside, what is outside, what is you and what are they or them. Uh, what I is, what me is. And that is really the essence of intuition. Allowing yourselves to connect to everyone else without the barriers or the borders set up by the ego or even body. Inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, keeping your eyes closed, we're just going to slowly come back in body and reach back into this world, moving your arms, your fingers, your toes, and your feet, embodying yourself again, or your physical body again. Take your feet together with your arms up and give yourself a nice stretch it out. Stretch the body out. And as you exhale, slowly release. Bend your knees and curl up like a ball. You can roll to any side. Just find a, a fetal position on any side, right or left. Your choice. Curl up like a ball, curl up like a bee inside the womb. And as you inhale slowly, allow yourself to come up. Come into a seated pose, any cross-legged or comfortable seat. And then just close your eyes and rest your hands on top of your knees. Take your palms to face up. Index fingers and thumbs together into a chin mudra. They represent connection between the inner self and the higher self. As you inhale, take your hands up to your heart center. Close your eyes and Close the practice with gratitude for the time, the effort, and the energy that you have given and received in your practice this morning. 
Take your hands in prayer position to your forehead, your third eye center. Blessing your thoughts and your vision. Okay? With clarity. Take your hands in prayer to your lips. Blessing your words with kindness and the truth. And take your hands in prayer to your heart of hearts. Blessing all your actions and words for passion and, and with love. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice and in your practice this morning. Namaste.